All right, okay, so first of all, whoa, <laughs> where did that story come from? Um, uh, a few months ago, no, a few months before I made it, um, I, was, I was sat in my edit suite doing stuff and a song came on my iTunes called Twisted Little Man by a singer called Michael Sheehy. I don't know if anyone has ever seen Deadwood, but it's from the Deadwood soundtrack. And as I'm, I'm trying to edit something and this song, like the words were beautiful, it's a song about this Twisted Little Man, it gave me an idea about a, a cannibal on the run. But it was, it was a bit, it was, well no, it was really different, it was, um, it was more like sort of Blade for cannibals. It was really cold <laughs> and cool and kind of, yeah, I'm gonna fucking eat some people. Um, and then that, that changed later on. Okay, so the, sort of, the story kind of developed on its own as you, you first had that idea that you wanted something like Blade and then all of a sudden it became more yeah, of a... Yeah, it had to change because that's, that's why I, 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 I put it down. I had the idea and then because it was kind of cool and cold, I actually didn't like it. I thought, fuck that. And I, and I left it for a few months. And then we did a cabaret. Um, a filmmaking cabaret, you know what those are, right? Yes. The, the film, yeah. Um, that was, the, the whole film was written, shot, cut and screened in four days as part of a cabaret last October where it's basically a collective of, of, of different talents, actors, filmmakers, editors, musicians. May as well plug it while you're here. Um, <laughs> no, but that, but that, it was the night before that cabaret okay. that the, the idea changed. Then I, was, I went back to the script and I thought, what if it was like, what if it's kind of all speaking to his mom? What if he was a monster who kind of accepted what he was, but he still just missed his mom? Um, yeah. I quite like that. It's kind of humanising something that you wouldn't typically, wouldn't typically humanise. That's awesome. Um, not that I was, you know, the subject matter is very dark, but I, my lady bits were very excited by the camera work. Um, <laughs> can I ask, um, what did you film on? It was fantastic. Um, I shot it on a uh, 5D Mark II. Um, cool. Yeah. Stop you laughing. It was very good. <laughs> Brilliant, brilliant stuff. Um, okay, how long did it take you to shoot and edit? Um, we shot it over, it was like... Two days? Yeah, we, we shot, like, we did one full day in the morning, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, full day in the morning. And then the morning. Yeah, yeah full day in the morning. And then, then cut it in about a day and a bit, because while I was editing that, I was working on other films at the cabaret, okay. like shooting other films and stuff. Well, it's a real cabaret style then with everything sort of. Wow, cool. Okay, so uh, actors, I think. Do we have another actor over there? Yes. No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to come on down? Wait. This is John Gray. Round of applause. <laughs> Excellent. Is there enough room on the sofa? I can yeah. sit on the table. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. 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 It's <laughs> it's very very cosy over there. I'm going to hand over my mic to you as well, Joe, so I'll let you have a lovely discussion for the audience. But um, tell us about your experience as actors in this film. Um, yeah, it was fantastic. It was amazing. Um, it was great working with two of my best friends and another best friend behind the camera. Um, the whole shoot was a lot of fun. Uh, probably won't feel it after watching it, but we were pretty much laughing our way through everything right up until about maybe six o'clock on the, the night we were shooting it, and things just took a turn for the worst. Yeah. It got really dark really quickly. Yeah. <laughs> we were kind of, there was a lot more footage than that. We spent about an hour just kind of doing some stuff in the kitchen. We kind of talked about kind of like how our kind of relationship developed, and mm -hmm. we were all quite happy, and all kind of just having a really good time and then then the dark stuff happened yeah. we got tied up and it was scary but yeah it was genuinely terrifying kind of doing all of that stuff but i don't know i think when for me when john kind of got taken away that was horrible yeah. <laughs> that was really really nasty so I, I don't know i think that kind of brought a kind of realness to it which matt was really good at bringing out i don't know what about you you haven't said Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed you used real cable ties as well. So you yeah, they were really tied up. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow. yeah that, that, was, that was a long hour. 
kind of <laughs> tied up. <laughs> And uh, what about the meat that you used? That was, <laughs> that was raw meat with little bits of chicken skin on underneath. Yeah, just put it in your mouth for a moment. You don't have to swallow it. All right. As long as it looks good, yeah? We didn't even use any of the Are there any questions from the audience? Uh, the only thing that's been changed is the music. Sorry, the only thing that's been changed is the music. Um, it was, uh, yeah, well, during the cabaret, um, we had a composer, but he had to basically write six minutes of music, and I think in that cabaret he did music for 12 films, so he was quite busy. Um, so he didn't have time, so we used a temporary track, and then after that, um, we just added the score, but the cut, absolutely not a single frame has changed. I think that the grade has been tweaked a little bit, but um, sorry, the application of filters. Um, <laughs> um, but <laughs> yeah, nothing. With, with you shooting it quite quickly, did you, did you use lighting or did you just use practical lighting? Yeah, it was a mix. We had um, practicals and um, some LED lights as well, little lamps, and um, did a bit of sort of bouncing light around. Does the five days sort of help with sort of using minimal lighting? Um, yeah, I mean, it's got a, it's got a quite, it's got a big old chip in it. It's, it's quite a big sensor, and we're using sort of fast primes and low light. It, it, it does. Um, yeah, it goes a long way. Right. Like that stuff that shot in the living room was really minimal lighting. It was one practical and one LED that was at the other side of the room. So, yeah, so it's really good in low light if you got the right sort of glass on it. Are there any other questions? Uh, the, the, this is, what's your name, sorry? Uh, Joe. Joe, that's it. Uh, you know, was, was it the direction to, um, you know, the, the voice, um, you know, to sort of keep it very low and, and sort of croaky and stuff like that about it? Yeah, well, we worked in, there was um, a little recording studio we could use, and um, originally it was just, the, you know, do, can you do an American accent? Yeah, okay. But then um, when we got into the booth, we found it was a lot more effective to sort of sit on the back of your throat and, you know, because it was, it sounded a bit too game show hosty, so... Yeah. Originally it was going to be New York -y. Yeah, New York. It was going to be, hey, yeah, hey, mom, mom, hey, hey, yeah, there some things over here. I got up some motherfuckers, I mean, yeah. But it, it, it was like Rocky gives yeah, up boxing yeah, yeah. and starts a rapey kind of... Like, <laughs> rapey Rocky. <laughs> rapey Rocky. <laughs> The original title. <laughs> 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 um, on that note. <laughs> so, um, if anyone's doing anything or not doing anything next week, I'll be in Twelfth Night over at Victoria <laughs> Bank. So um, make sure you come down. <laughs> Have leaflets. No, because I fucking hate submitting things to film festivals. It takes too long. Um, no, we, we this, I, that is online, and um, we've got other films that are in festivals, so we're kind of trying to cover both bases. Um, but it's doing well online, so I just, I'm going to leave it there. I'm not fussed about singing into festivals. How many views have you got online now? Now, it's... Uh, yeah, about 15,500. It's been really well received by the horror community, which which genuinely I wasn't expecting, because to me it's a drama. It, it's a drama, it's not a horror movie. Um, but yeah, it's found a home online, which is really cool. So it's like, it's been on aintyoucool.com and loads of blogs and stuff, but they're all kind of horror-y and it's weird. or really, really genuinely, like, sort of don't expect that, but... I think it is a little bit horror, <laughs> <laughs> A little bit, with the death and the blood and the... It's a drama, it's a dark drama. It's a dark drama. It's a dark drama. Could be big things coming from that film then. Hopefully. Alright, if there aren't any more questions, thank you very much, Jim. Thank you. Alright, uh, thank you very much, guys. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you.